By the time you're done with this video, you're going to be able to run a script on startup for your Raspberry Pi without touching any commands. Maybe you're making a magic mirror, maybe you're making a monitor or something like that. Um, regardless of what it is, this should work for that. There are a bunch of ways to do this, but I'm only going to be showing one, which is CronTab. I think it's one of the easiest and most straightforward, which is more than I could ask for when I'm programming. Right here, I have a script already. It's on my desktop called buzzer.py. I have a Raspberry Pi here and a little buzzer hooked up to it. And when I click run, it buzzes for a second. And that is going to be the example script that I'll be working with for this project. But you could use a bash script, you could use the Python script, it doesn't matter. Uh, this is what you'll change to modify for your application. Now, how do we get it to run on startup? Let's open up a terminal. And then we're going to first run the Python script from the terminal just to make sure we have our locations all correct. So the command here for me, it's going to be python3 home pi desktop buzzer.py. Yep, and you heard the buzzing, so it worked okay. To start up the file from startup, we need to do a command sudo cron tab dash e. You might have an option that looks like this when you run it for the first time. I would select one. That's what I did here, and it's a nano which is an easy terminal editor. Okay, drop down to the bottom of that file, and we're just gonna type the command at reboot python3 home pi desktop buzzer.py and ampersand at the end. The reboot signifies when it powers on, run this command, and then we run the command just like we typed in the terminal. That's why it was important we checked it in the terminal because it'll be exactly like how we ran it in the terminal. And then the amper stamp at the end means keep running all the jobs. Don't stop there and only run that command. And to get out of this, we do control S, control X, and that's it. Now let's uh, power on the Pi and see if it worked. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you want me to do any other tutorials. I also have some fun videos on my channel. Feel free to check those out and have a great day.